Okay, now in this video what I want to show you and explain, if I can, is this device here, which is a template sander. This is a sanding machine, and we're going to use these templates with it, so that we can make the same sort of pattern uh, each time uniformly. I'm using this to make handle sections for bows like this one. There is a curvature on the back of the handle, and there is curvature coming out of the fades. Now, to get that same every time, um, if you're not going to be making many bows, you could probably do that on a belt sander, fair degree of accuracy. But um, if you're making a few of them, and you want to get this spot on every time, then a device like this really speeds the whole thing up. And these are not very difficult to make, very simple machine. Um, it, it is in three distinctly different parts, which I'll try to explain one by one. We have the templates themselves, we have the bobbin, which is going to be doing the sanding, and we have this table and dust extraction uh, device. I'll talk about the table first, I'll just show you, it's very simple construction. Um, it's made with MDF, fairly weighty, fairly sturdy, you know, but um, I think that's probably 22 or 25 mil MDF, 22 I think it is. Uh, the box itself, on the bottom here, has been made deep enough simply to take the uh, dust extraction, it has a port there for the uh, vacuum to take the dust away from the thing. Uh, the top of it, in this case, th this top is large enough for the type of work that I'm going to be doing on it. Obviously, you could expand that, or you could make it shorter, depending on what you were going to do with it. Uh, this one, in particular, this is 30 centimetres by 40 centimetres. It has a hole cut in the middle, recess at the back for the pillar on the drill, and that's about it. Uh, there's a couple of bolts sticking through the bottom of it, so that we can tie it into the grooves on the... Uh, the pillar, dr uh, the pillar drill uh, table there. So we stick that on. We've got a couple of uh, wing nuts and a washer, which we can put on the bottom of there, and we should be able to tighten those up a little bit fiddly. <laughs> like so. So that's locked onto the table. Obviously you would use the two bolts if you were going to actually operate with this. Um, just for these demonstration purposes, I'll just put the one in. Now, the next part of this is the bobbin. The bobbin is obviously the thing which is going to be doing the sanding. But the thing with it is we want it to sand the, um, the handles for the bows or the workpiece. But we don't want it to sand the template. So. What I've done here, uh, the, this is the, the bobbin itself is just a number of uh, plywood discs which have been aerodited together. And they have a 8mm bar, threaded bar, going through. From the bottom up, we have a nut on there, then we have a washer. We have a very small uh, bearing, which is from a scooter or a skateboard. We have another washer, then the plywood discs a nut on top, and the rest of the board go into the chuck. And that's it. It's very simple. But the principle with this, the idea is that when you're putting the um, when you're putting the wood through it, the template itself is going to hit up against the bearing and the slide up and down there fairly freely uh, without actually damaging the cutting face of the template. Inside that, is the actual cutting face, and that's where the bobbin is going to spin. So the bobbin itself, um, the sandpaper, I have this attached to this simply with um, some spray adhesive. I did try this putting a little groove in here and folding the paper in, and it worked to a degree but not perfectly. Um, but I find that coupled with some, um, some spray adhesive, just spray it onto the back of the paper and stick it around the drum. And that seems to do the job. So if we you put the bobbin in, get the table aligned, tighten it up, 
and that's pretty much ready to go. Another thing with this, I've used this hole cutter to, to make this. So the, the uh, hole in the table is obviously going to be the outside diameter of that, and the bobbin is going to be the inside diameter. So we have a little bit of air room around it to take the dust away, and that works really well. So that's those two. Now the third part of this is the templates themselves. And the templates, again, are not fantastically difficult things. Uh, this is made with 6mm um, ply for the base. It has an 18mm ply for the back wall, because that's going to take some pressure as you're putting it through. And it has this little step up here, which is a piece of 4mm ply. Now, again, the thickness of this are not crucial. What, what's important is that this bottom part, the end part of the template, will fit under the drum and just hit the bearing and slide easily. We have this curvature, which is taken from the form, in this case because we are making handles for the bows. Um, so this curvature is taken from the form, it is made a perfect fit for the form, and then we can use that to take a handle block and we can use it to mark out the uh, rough dimensions of the handle. We can cut most of that off on the bandsaw, and then if we secure it into the form and put it through the template sander, that will give us a mirrored image of this and it'll fit perfectly into the form every time. Now, once that is done, uh, we're doing this in two different sections. First we'll put the back curve into it and then we have a template which is exactly the same type of construction for the fades. The only difference with this template is this, the, the stopping plate at the back here has that curvature taken out of it. So that once we've cut the curvature with this one, that will then fit snugly into that one and allow it to take the fades out. So that's it. It's a, it's a template sander. They're very simple to make. It's simply a box. It's a few um, discs and a bearing. And then the templates obviously need a little bit more care to get them to the right sort of dimensions and size. Having done that, then you should be able to reproduce the same curvature time and time again. Uh, with a lot less effort than using the um, the belt sander. Okay. Well, I hope that was useful. Uh, thank you very much.